Yin, please open the door. Yin is surprised when she opens the door because the person in front of her is the grandmother she once helped after an accident. Oh, please come in grandma. Who is it? She's the grandma I helped that time mom. Please have a seat grandma. I'll get some drinks. No need to trouble yourself. I actually need to talk to you and your parents. Is there something you want to tell me? I came here to discuss the proposal I have for your daughter. A proposal for Yin? Yin's mother still can't believe it. Why is this happening all of a sudden? Yes, I want to propose to Yin for my grandson. But why my daughter? Because your daughter is a perfect match for my grandson. I believe she can make my grandson happy. Yin is a good girl. That time, if Yin hadn't pulled me, I would have been hit by the car. As a result, Yin got hurt because of me. If she's this kind to a stranger, she will surely be kind to her husband. A girl like her is what I've always dreamed of for my grandson. But I need to discuss this with my husband first. And we also have to consult with our daughter. All right? Please talk to your husband about this. I will come back tomorrow to get your answer. I'll take my leave now. Let me escort you, Grandma. Yin escorts Mrs. Reeson's departure until the front yard of her house. Yin, please consider my proposal about this engagement. I hope you're willing to accept it. I am counting on you, Yin. I will try to think about it, Grandma. Thank you, Yin. In that case, I'll leave now. Goodbye, Grandma. Be careful on the road. After Mrs. Reeson's departure, Yin enters her house. What do you think, Yin? I think I'll probably reject it, Mom. Until when will you be like this, Yin? Is it because of him again? Enough. Open your heart, Yin. He's not the only man in the world. Mom, I'm still not ready. It's not that you're not ready, but you don't want to try to forget him. So, I have to marry someone else while my heart is still for someone else? Is that it, Mom? I beg you. Forget him. Start opening your heart to someone else, Yin. Maybe you don't love him now, but if you try to open your heart, love can grow inside you. We haven't even met him, mom. We don't know him yet, but we already know his background. He must be a man highly regarded by his family, to the extent that his grandmother came here to arrange a match with you. His family background is clear, Yin, and you have the support of his grandmother. Compared to your ex-boyfriend, who is unclear and irresponsible, he doesn't even bother to inform you. Why can't you forget him? He doesn't even care about you. Honestly, Yin is still confused, but she hopes the decision she makes tomorrow is the best for her. All right, if her parents approve of this proposal, Yin will also try to accept it. Perhaps it's time for her to open her heart to someone else. The next day, JK is currently on his way to Yin's house because his grandmother told him to come to his future wife's house. JK immediately went there. Initially, he refused to come, but his grandmother threatened to replace JK as the CEO with another male cousin if he didn't obey her. Yes, his grandmother is currently matchmaking him with a girl, and whether he likes it or not, JK has to meet that girl. After contemplating the threat from his grandmother, JK finally decided to accept this arranged marriage. He doesn't want to lose his position as the CEO, and he doesn't care about other issues for now. What matters to him is securing his position in the company. As for the woman he will be engaged to, JK also doesn't care. After all, he will not love that woman. His heart still belongs to someone from his past. He gazes at a modest house, quite different from his own. With a deep breath, JK rings the doorbell of that house. Meanwhile, inside the house Yin's family and JK's grandmother are chatting with Yin's parents. Doorbell rings. Yin is surprised to see a handsome and tall man standing in front of her. Oh, there's my grandson. Well then, Please come in. JK remains silent and quickly takes a seat beside his grandmother. Yin also joins them. All right, now that both families are here, let's start the conversation about the relationship between my grandson and your daughter. We've thought about it. The decision lies in our daughter's hands. If our daughter agrees, then we will approve. So, what's your answer, Yin? I accept. And what about your grandson, ma'am? Does he accept this marriage? JK's grandmother looks at him sternly urging JK to say something. I have agreed to all of this from the beginning. JK's grandmother and Yin's parents are pleased with the ongoing relationship. However, JK seems indifferent and only wears a flat expression after stating his approval. Yin glances at JK. Although it seems like she is starting to like the man in front of her, she doesn't see any joy on JK's face. Yin wonders if JK is forced into accepting all of this or if he's thinking about something else. Yin quickly dismisses any negative thoughts about JK. After chatting for two hours, JK's grandmother and JK bid farewell to Levian's house. 
Currently, JK is sitting in his grand chair, gazing at a photo of him with the woman he loves, Nari. It has been five years since she disappeared without a trace. Back then, she said she would marry JK once he became a successful CEO. Now, JK has fulfilled her wish, but for five years, Nari has been nowhere to be found. JK has tirelessly searched for the woman he loves, however, it has been futile she seems to have vanished into thin air. But JK won't give up, he'll wait for his lover to come and fulfill her promise. Where are you, Nari? In the past, JK introduced Nari to his parents, however, JK's mother disapproved of Nari. Understanding his mother's disapproving gaze, JK could only hold Nari's hand to give her strength. After Nari visited his house, JK never saw her again. He felt confused and overwhelmed, searching desperately for Nari's whereabouts. JK is truly devastated because Nari left him without a word. But because JK loves Nari deeply, he will wait for her to come and explain why she left. Honey, JK, are you at home? Goodness, so Hyun, why are you yelling like that? Mrs. Rayson, annoyed by her daughter-in-law's shouts, responds. Oh mom, you're here, since when? Can't I visit my son's house? It's not like that mom, I mean, I'm confused because usually, you inform me or Jinwon, right? I deliberately didn't inform you because I know Jinwon is busy at his office, and you're busy with your vacation, but it seems you came home today? Yes mom, I just arrived home. So where is JK now? Hasn't he come back from the office? He's currently at a bridal fitting and preparing for other wedding needs. Mrs. Rayson sips her tea that has just arrived. What do you mean, fitting for a bridal gown? I've decided that JK will marry a girl of my choosing in a week. What? Mom. Why wasn't I informed? Why didn't you tell me? I'm his mother, and besides, I already planned to marry JK to the daughter of my socialite friend. So Hyun, feeling irritated with her mother-in-law, expresses her frustration. But I've informed Jinwon, and he agrees with me. I thought Jinwon had told you. That's why I've taken this step. But I haven't agreed yet, mom. And why did my husband make this decision without informing me? Please cancel this marriage. I don't approve. I can't. And besides, JK has already agreed. So, this marriage will proceed, and you have to give your consent. If not, I'll instruct Jinwon to revoke all the assets he has given you. Mrs. Rayson threatens So Hyun, who reluctantly agrees to the marriage. So Hyun had planned to marry JK to her friend's daughter, a beautiful and wealthy girl, to boast at her socialite gatherings. But now, So Hyun has to bury her desires. She's very curious about her future daughter-in-law and wonders if her mother-in-law arranged JK's marriage with the daughter of a prominent businessman. Mom, what about my future daughter-in-law? Is she from a successful business background, or the daughter of another company's CEO, or a director, or maybe the daughter of a conglomerate? JK's mother inquires, eager to learn more about her future daughter-in-law. She doesn't fall into any of the categories you mentioned. She's just an ordinary girl from a humble family, but they are good people. Besides, I'm only looking for a woman who can make JK happy and transform him for the better. I'm not seeking a woman with money who can't take care of JK. Mrs. Reeson's response changes the expression on JK's mother's face to irritation. Oh my. What is this? I'll be embarrassed if JK really marries that girl. My socialite friends will mock me. But mom, what if many people ridicule our family for having a daughter-in-law from a lower class? No one will speak like that because our family doesn't care about caste, whether high, middle, or low. What matters most is the behavior of the daughter-in-law of this family. If anyone speaks ill, I won't care as long as my grandson's future wife is a good woman. Mrs. Rayson states firmly, but So Hyun, hearing her mother-in-law's narrative, can only sigh deeply. In that case, I'll go to my room, mother. JK's mother says, then leaves, pulling her luggage and some shopping bags she bought during her vacation in Paris. Mrs. Rayson, seeing her daughter-in-law leave, can only shake her head. She knows why her daughter-in-law is questioning the details of her future daughter-in-law. She is also confident that her son Jinwon didn't inform his wife about this because Jinwon knows very well about his wife's character. He certainly anticipated that his wife would sabotage their child's marriage. Mrs. Rayson also knows that So Hyun will do the same thing she did to her son's first wife, the wife of her eldest son. She won't let Yin experience the same fate as Jinri, her son JK's sister-in-law. The cases are different Jaehyun and Jinri love and support each other, while JK and Yin might still not have feelings for each other. Therefore, Mrs. Rayson must try to shield Yin from intimidation from JK's mother so that Yin does not withdraw from this marriage. A week has passed, and today is a sacred day for both JK and Yin. They are about to be bound as husband and wife. 
The event is attended by many guests, including business associates of JK's father, JK's grandmother, and socialite friends of his mother. Some relatives from Yin's family also attended to witness Yin and her husband. JK's friends also come to congratulate him and Yin. After the event, JK and Yin head to the prepared hotel room. Once in the hotel room, Yin heads to the bathroom while JK reclines on the bed, closing his eyes. After a few minutes of tidying up, Yin comes out wearing pajamas. With hesitation, Yin approaches JK and asks him to take a shower. JK, I've finished showering, so now it's your turn. Please prepare warm water for me to shower. JK says, still keeping his eyes closed. I've already prepared it, so you can go ahead and shower. After that JK gets up from his bed and enters the bathroom. Meanwhile, Yin chooses to sleep as the day has been exhausting for her. Shortly after, JK finishes his shower and lies down on the bed, closing his eyes, following Yin into the world of dreams. The next morning, they plan to return to JK's parents' home. This morning, JK and Yin return to the Jian family home. Upon arrival, they are welcomed by Mrs. Rayson and JK's parents. Mrs. Rayson, seeing her granddaughter-in-law, immediately approaches Yin and asks her to sit with her. Meanwhile, JK's father follows his mother to sit. As for JK's mother, she only glares at Yin disapprovingly and eventually joins her husband after staring at Yin for a while. In contrast, JK chooses to go straight to his room. Mrs. Rayson, observing her grandson, can only shake her head. Yin, how did you sleep last night? Was it soundly? Yes, grandmother, our sleep was sound. Of course, it was sound, I mean, she slept on a comfortable mattress, and the hotel was five stars, how could it not be sound? So Hyun, watch your words. JK's mother is reprimanded by her husband. Jin Wan, why are you like this? I'm just stating a fact. But what you said could hurt Yin's feelings. It's okay dad, don't scold mom. Did you call me mom? Unfortunately, I don't fancy being called mom by you. JK's mother said, and then left the three of them. So Hyun, you've gone too far. Yin, please forgive my wife's words, she's just like that, so forgive her if her words hurt you. It's okay dad, I understand. Yin, forgive me because I can't stay with you continuously. I have to return to Daegu after this. It's okay grandmother, I can take care of myself, I'm sure I can get through all of this. Yin, if anything happens, please contact me, or go to my house, I'll try to help you. All right, grandmother. Ten minutes later, JK's grandmother is escorted home by Yin and JK's father to the front yard, where a chauffeur is waiting. After Mrs. Reeson's departure, Yin immediately goes to JK's room. When in front of JK's room, she hesitates to enter. With courage, Yin decides to knock on the door. But as Yin is about to knock, the door opens, revealing JK already dressed in his work attire. Come in, I'll be going to the office. Maybe I won't be home tonight, so there's no need to wait for me. Yin just nods in understanding. After saying that, JK goes to the office. With hesitation, Yin enters JK's room, the room she will occupy starting today. JK, you just got married, why are you already at work? Guanlin, JK's secretary, comments. What should I do, just stay at home all the time? You know that's not my style. JK says, while still busy opening his files. How about doing something very beneficial at home, like a morning workout with your wife, of course. Guanlin now starts teasing JK, who gets a deadly look from him. JK can't possibly not understand what is meant by morning exercise with Yin, but he might never do it because he doesn't love Yin. He will only do it with a woman he loves. That's JK's principle, but JK still respects Yin as his wife because he knows that Yin is a good woman. Since the incident a few years ago, it has been challenging for him to open his heart to a woman. Although he has hired many women to be his pretend girlfriends so that his grandmother won't withdraw his position, he won't touch Yin. Maybe I will never touch her, even though she's my wife because I don't love her, 